Come Bucks get the win, 68 to 45, and move on to the second round of the WNIT. Head coach J.R. Payne joins us here. Nice win. I and I'm going to ask Carol's question because we were talking about it off air. What did you say to them when it was 21-21 in that second quarter? Did you change defense up? Did you light a fire under them? Because from that point on, it seemed like you guys just settled in and, and, and played Buffs basketball. Yeah, I actually don't remember. Um, was that a, did we go zone? It was, a, it was a media timeout. I think you did go zone. Yeah, that, you know, we, we knew all along. I think T probably wanted to save the zone for a little bit later in the game, but we knew all along that if we needed it, that that was something that was going to create a little bit of chaos, um, you know, for them, just based on sort of the, the tenor of our zone is always, you know, pretty aggressive and pretty active. And we thought the combination of that with their sort of smaller stature um, was something that was going to be able to create opportunities for us. So I, I'm pretty sure that's that's what happened. You You played them too close, I guess, in that first period and a half. And, mm -hmm. and uh, Maya seemed to be trying to find her way. Yeah. And, and yet, you know, then she hits two threes and that kind of comforted her a little bit. Talk yeah. a little bit about, you know, the fact that they, they were a little smaller, but they clogged it up so much in the middle. And the fact yeah. that, thank goodness, you did make threes to really yeah. loosen it up. Yeah, I, I, we anticipated that that would be the case, you know, just being undersized and Maya being a really strong player inside, um, you know, and so we really had talked a lot about having great spacing and trying to get Maya to be really decisive with her play, you know, in the, in the block area, um, you know, when she's decisive, she, she scores the ball really effectively, you know, big player, small player, doesn't really matter when she's not as decisive and you know takes a little bit more time against the smaller team we had shown clips that they were going to come and swipe and double and um I think that's what happened you know early she she was getting pretty good looks but they were you know two and three people on her so I think we did a better job after that of, of sharing the ball like just really spreading out more um and to focus more on side top side we always use that phrase just basically meaning let's let's work the action a little bit more um, and we don't, we didn't want to play ISO ball. And, uh, and so I think that that helped when we were able to spread out more. You had some pretty good balance at one point there, the end of the, the last five minutes of the second period and just first two and a half minutes of the third period, it was a, the peanut to a Taylor and Rita Frida Foreman show. They both end up with 14 points. Peanut ends up with a double, double talk about the fact that you needed somebody to burst out and they certainly did. Yeah, they did. You know, and I think all, all three of those guys, including, you know, Maya, who we said was struggling early, they're capable of picking up the slack. You know, a lot of different people on this team are capable of picking up the slack. The best thing is that nobody really cares, you know, like, like Maya was struggling earlier. She was frustrated um, with the way that, that, that her game was going, but she didn't allow her personal frustration you know, to deter anybody else. And I love that, you know, it's a pretty selfless, um, you know, group. And so I, I think Peanut's effort on the glass was incredible. I think a lot of her scores came from offensive rebounds um, or second chances. And um, Frida, you know, just kind of got going. So then we tried to run a couple things for her um, and she was able to knock those down. But I, but I do love that, that everybody was able to step up tonight. How do you get ready for a team? It's easy in the Pac-12 because you know everybody, but now you've got to go back to back and play a team that the fans are probably excited for you to see <laughs> in playing the Big Red. Yep. But the players don't really know that. I mean, the last time Colorado or Nebraska faced off in women's basketball, uh, I'm not sure any of your players were even in high school. Or coaches. <laughs> yeah. or coaches. Well, they're, they're you, too... you, you haven't, none of the coaches have really yeah. experienced that rivalry. No, yeah. no, other than the football game in Boulder. Right. Um, you know, we, we know, I learned very early in my tenure at Colorado that I cannot wear red no matter what day of the week, no matter where I'm going. Um, you know, so so when I know that, I know it's pretty serious, but um, I just think it's it's two really good basketball teams, um, you know, and, and the coaching staff was able to sit and watch the game. And um, we actually know some of the players on their team that we recruited. And um, and so we know that that team well, it's a little bit personal, I think for a couple of their players and, and definitely our staff, um, but a really good basketball team, very well coached. All right. Well, we look forward to talking to you tomorrow and watching you guys get after it against Nebraska. All right. Thanks, you guys. Okay. Let's turn it over to Brian and Christian. I'm not sure if you're a reporter or not, but uh, 
Brian, why don't you go ahead and ask questions? And Kristen, if you need to add something, just shoot me a message in chat or raise your hand. All right, Jay, I've just got a couple for you. Um, you know, first off, yesterday we talked about um, you guys need to guard the perimeter and uh, rebound, and you did both of those things. So um, how much of an emphasis was that, and uh, just how much of a key do you think that was to today? Well, I really thought those were the two most important factors um, in our ability to be successful today, and really fun to, to lay that out for your team in a really clear format and for them to buy in, believe in, and then execute it. And, um, and so I think they, they knew that those were the most important things to, to our success and, and really, really neat to see every single player played tonight and every single player, you know, really came in and did their job and executed those things. And then just last thing, obviously a new arena, a uh, new gym, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's a nice so, gym. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, how, did it take some time to get comfortable with it? And do you feel like, hey, now you get past this first round and now that's not going to be a factor at all tomorrow? Yeah, I, well, I, I think both teams were kind of feeling their way, you know, on a court. We didn't get to shoot around on, on that court. Um, we actually shot around on a shorter court, like an 84-foot. And so, the, you know, the balls are different and the, everything's different, but it's different for both teams. So there's no advantage anywhere. Um, but I definitely thought that contributed to a little bit. You know, we missed those bunnies early. And when balls are brand new, they're really sticky, you know. And, um, and I thought some of those misses that Maya had, they kind of stuck on the rim. Um, again, no advantage for either team, but but that's sort of what I felt early. Awesome. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you.